Tiger coach Dennis Pialski joins us on the post-game show, and uh, coach, talk about the exciting win today. Kind of a slow start for you, but uh, picked it up in uh, two and four, two, three, and four. We did. You know, uh, Blaine's a very good team. They're very athletic. They kind of did what we thought they would do. Their middles were a lot more athletic than what we thought. Um, they did a nice job in game one, and I think in game one we were just kind of feeling them out. We made some adjustments after that game. We, we changed up our defense just a little bit, attacked in a different role, different spots. Um, but, you know, part of what we've done all year, it's a team game. These kids work together. They believe in our system and what we're trying to do. And, uh, you know, we had some runs. We had some times where we went down and didn't do very well, but they picked it up. They helped each other get back on the court and worked hard at it. And, uh, you know, I think the team, our team survived today. Talk about game three. How key was that run? Uh, Courtney Fox was serving back there just to get you some momentum and get you a big lead. And that's huge. I mean, when you can get a lead, I don't know if it was, what, 18-4 or whatever, they closed it at the end. To have a little bit of breathing room, it's going to put you in that comfort zone. But, again, but more importantly, we just won game two to get to a big lead on game three and push them hard like that. It kind of set the tone. As a coaching staff, we were talking, we can't let them get momentum, get back in it. They closed it a little bit towards the end, but we were able to stay. So that was huge, you know, and they came out with a lot of energy in game four. We responded, took another run with Courtney or Molly, whoever it was, and again, from there, it was good. So three was was huge, that big run. Was the fact that uh, you, you guys had played from behind before, and, and Blaine really hadn't. They've been up on most every every team, so when you went up on them, they didn't know how to, how to, how to react to well, it, maybe? Well, and we talked about that after game Three, I said, you know, the, Cent- the Blaine coaches are talking over there. Remember Centennial? We're down 0-2. We came back and won the next three. I said, they're not just going to roll over and give us this one. They're going to fight hard. And they came out. They served aggressively in those first three balls. We're like, wow, they're playing to win. Uh, we just got to stick together. So, I mean, they started to struggle and fall apart. We, our block started to get solid. We started moving the ball around offensively. It, I think it kind of threw them for a loop there, and they kind of got – discombobulated and stuff, and it just kind of helped us get on a roll. How do you get back up for game 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 two tomorrow, well, semifinals? You can't get up for this now. I mean, enjoy the moment. It's a big win for us, and that's one of the things, like I said, we played in, this, in the state championship last year in two ways, so half of our players have experienced what it takes to get to the next level. It's nice because now we can relax and enjoy, but the way these girls are focused and the team building and the team bonding that they do before games and after games is just outstanding, and I think that's a lot. They work to Together, they play together, they have fun together, they believe in each other and have trust and confidence. They won't have any problems getting ready for tomorrow. Thank you.